What's up, Everyday Blades? Got a sweet knife review today. Overview. Um, so this is the Vosteed Thunderbird. And every time I say that, I want to say Vosteed Nightshade because I like that knife so much. Um, I will say up front, I purchased this knife with my own money. Uh, this is not from Vosteed. Uh, the, these companies I review, some of them send me knives and some of them don't. And some of them send me a knife and then they don't send me a knife and they do send me a knife. The ones that I like, I'll purchase their knives. I, I purchased a, I'm a big fan of Tuya knives. Uh, last last time they sent me a very awesome Tuya Big Belly. It's one of my favorite knives. Um, this time I purchased a knife. I just ordered their newest knife that just came out. I can't remember the name of it, but it's the something V4. But it's an awesome knife. It's an S90V. So we're going to be checking that out. This one I purchased with my own money because it's a knife I like. Um, some knives are great knives. They're just not knives that I care for. This one is checks all my boxes. One, it's a button lock, and I'm a sucker for button locks. Uh, two, it's Vosteed, so I know the quality is going to be good. Everything I've gotten from them has been phenomenal. They, they just they Their OEM makes great knives. So... <clears throat> we have a kind of a drop point style blade with like a fuller in it with a thumb hole deployment which I love I can actually spidey flick that believe it or not but 99% of the time this is how I deploy this knife the action is just killer I love the way the G10 turned out on these this knife has a really great feel to it copper backspacer wire clip uh, the only issue I, I have, I've been carrying this knife for probably a week or so every day. The only issue I've had with it is this button is actually threaded on to the rod that's in here. And it worked its way off. I put some Loctite on it, tightened it down. So if you guys have this knife, you may want to screw that off. Those will throw a little Loctite on there just to make sure you don't lose it. It's a really easy deal to put back on, but if you lose it, it could be a real pain. This is a really, really cool knife. So it's... S35VN, G10 scales, push button lock, like I said, copper backspacer. So let's check the weight on this puppy. You guys know I don't do, I don't do bad reviews. And one of the main reasons I don't do bad reviews is they're no fun. I mean, I don't want to sit there and dog out somebody's work. And my opinion of it <clears throat> may be may be different than someone else someone else may get a lot of appreciation out of it but what i do in those cases i just don't review the knife i send it back to whoever i got it from or if i purchased it i sell it um the the knives i put on this channel i really do like uh, i can't keep all of them because i have to buy and sell and trade knives to be able to review i, I don't get that many knives sent to me by makers most of them i purchase so 3.4 ounces killer let's check the Blade length is right at three and a half inches. Handle scales. Is that right? Four and three quarter? Just over four and a half. And three and a half. Sweet. I, I just really like this knife. I love the profile of this knife. I love the color of this knife. I love the feel of this knife. I love the push button action of this knife. You can see it's dirty. I've been using it all week. Um, it's a little bit thick behind the edge, but uh, I'm okay with that. I do like knives that are a little bit thinner behind the edge. They can cut a little better, but these are more robust. Like you can push a little beyond, you know, knife duties. So, guys, uh, all in all, I'm a huge fan of this knife. Uh, one thing I can say is don't take them apart if you don't have to. This was no fun putting them back together. Uh, that spring in there shot all the way across the room, and it's a just a miracle from God that I found it. Uh, so if you do have to take it apart, be careful with that spring. That the spring is tiny in that button lock, and it will fium, be gone. So if uh, you get a chance, if you like the way this knife looks, you'll love the way it functions. So check it out. I see a 3.48 inch traditional Tonto. They're calling that a Tonto. I'm not calling that a Tonto. That's more of a drop point to me. But it's your knife. You can call it what you want to compound harpoon 
Topo Dark Red G10 Copper Backspacer. The Copper Backspacer is a really cool touch. Has a little place for a lanyard. And I'm really big on how knives feel. This knife feels really, really good. This is a great everyday carry. You'll, you'll love this knife. Guys, thanks for watching. God bless you and your families. Say a prayer for our country. Good night.